morning, at least 12 people are dead and four others wounded, including a police officer, after a city employee from Virginia Beach opened fire inside of a government building. Fox's Ray Bogan is on the scene in Virginia Beach, Virginia, with the very latest. Virginia Beach Police, state troopers, and the FBI are still trying to determine exactly what happened and why the gunman murdered city employees about an hour before the weekend started. Today is Virginia Beach's darkest hour. The investigation continues in Virginia Beach after a longtime public utilities employee started shooting inside a city building. It happened at the end of the workday, sending hundreds of people running for cover. There was probably about 20 of us in an office crammed in. We barricaded the door. I don't know what would possess somebody to just come in and just start shooting at people. According to police, the gunman walked inside and started firing a handgun, armed with a magazine packed with extra ammunition, shooting randomly at people. Eventually, four officers came face to face with the shooter. I can tell you that it was a long gun battle. I want you to know that during this gun battle, basically the officers stopped this individual from committing more carnage in that building. The suspect died shortly after the confrontation. One officer was among the injured, but saved by his bulletproof vest. Now, police are working to track down the family members of the victims and the suspect. Grief doesn't pass quickly. It lasts far beyond these coming days, and these families will need support in the months and years to come. According to police, the shooter was a current employee, so they had access to the building and would not have been checked on their way inside. In Virginia Beach, Ray Bogan, Fox 35 News.